Hello, I'm here. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm here with my weekly unboxing series where I'm sharing vintage finds that just came in and are not yet in my vintage collection on my website. So I share them here first in case anyone wants to snag first dibs on something that catches their eye. You can find me over on Instagram. That's usually the best place where you can just send me a direct message. You can also comment here and we can connect, but I find that people are finding me over on Instagram the best way. It's just my name, Jillian Bremer, and I will chat with you vintage lovers over there. I'm starting off with this Prada bag. It's a straw bag with woven handles, white, actually it's a cream leather with grommets. And I'm not usually a grommet girl, but we're here in San Francisco and we get little bits of spring early. And there's something about this bag that screams spring and or take me on vacation. So I'm obsessed. It's in great shape too. And I could just see this with like a floral maxi or something in wine country at the beach. I just love this bag. I just love anything like um, straw, raffia, just kind of totes coming up soon. And then I also love pop leather bags. So this is a vintage coach bag from the 80s or 90s. If you know anything about vintage coach leather bags in the bright colors, they are very rare. So they're collector's items. This one is a beautiful green. It's kind of a kiwi green. It's not too neon by any means. And it has a turn lock opening. It's a very unusual style. I think it's called the geometric bag. And it's very clean inside. This is a made in America style, which is also important for collectors to know because when they changed factories in the 90s, they left America. And people just really like the quality of the made in America ones. And this one is also in mint condition. So it's a really good collector's item. Such a sweet little pop color bag. And then I have some jewelry to share with y'all. I have the Chanel necklace from spring 1994 collection. It, I love it because I actually have this one in my personal collection. I like that it has the bold C's on it. So if you're a first time Chanel necklace purchaser, this would be a great one. It is really iconic with the bold C's in the round, pen, true just pendant style. And I like the uh, weight of the chain and the thickness, just like an open link here, just really classic. And it's a great length too. I wanted to pop it on so that you can see. I have a turtleneck on today, so gosh, I hope you can. It's probably a little longer without the turtleneck just because the neck is so chunky here, but I think it looks great on. I find that mine really goes with anything and it looks great layered, but also on its own. It's just such a good statement maker. And it's 24 karat gold plated, so it will wear well over time. It really won't tarnish easily should obviously avoid water with anything that's not solid gold. And then I have some costume pieces to share with you. These are American made costume. So they're more in a hundred to $150 price point. My vintage collection really ranges all over the board. I'm just really particular about style and quality, but I love everything. I'm not just a luxury shopper. I like anything that feels expensive is really high quality. And if it's a lower price point, have at it. So this rope chain is costume American made designer from the 80s, Napier. It's a chunky rope chain, it's 30 inches. And I just really love this length for sweaters. Here, I'll kind of get a little closer so you can see. This is a 30 inch chain, but it looks great just with a chunky sweater or you could wear it with anything, but I like it as just like a layer all on its own. Sometimes we throw sweaters on and we like don't know how to accessorize them. And I just think a 30 inch chain kind of does the trick. <laughs> and then I have this one, which is just iconic to vintage. My God, this one should sell itself. Like, I don't think I even need to say anything about it. It's 18 inches in length and it has, gosh, I hope you can see it has like little engraved V designs on it. 
You could probably wear it backwards. I mean, the clasp would be backwards on you, but they're, this is just like a clean, bold gold. And that's great on its own with an open neck, also layered, um, just a good one. And then I have a couple pair of costume earrings starting out. I love these, so cool. I'll start out with the biggest pair I have. These are 80s bold gold hoops. They are pierced. So a lot of vintage earrings are clip-on, which I actually prefer, but these aren't that heavy. So they actually work really great as pierced. And I wanna pop one on so you can see. They're so good. They're forward facing too, so you can like really see them. Um, they're really awesome. I love them so much. Really fun pair. They're really sleek too, which is cool. All right, and then I'm gonna show you the smallest pair I have. So we'll do extremes today. These are Love Knots from, these are probably 80s, but this was just in general a popular style in the 70s or 80s. And I find this to be like one of those shapes that just goes great with anything. Like you just wear these every day. Here, I'm not gonna hook it, but I want you to be able to see, there you go. You can see just the size on. And again, I don't have a back on here, but it's more of like a 3D shape. So it definitely has some dimension to it. It's not a flat earring, which I like. I like having um, just like a little bit of shape to an everyday earring. And then one last pair. These are just like sleek hoops, again, pierced. These are probably from the 70s or 80s. My guess is probably 80s since they're pierced and they are forward facing. Do you know how sometimes you can only see hoops from the like side view? Like they look different. You can't really tell it's a hoop. Well, this you can tell it's a hoop from the front, which I personally love. Again, I think I would maybe like more of an everyday pair, I would say. Like you would wear these often. I think they would go with anything. Like I would just pop them on with what I have on today. Call it a day. All right, like I said, you guys, these aren't on my website yet. So if you want first dibs, you're gonna have to do a little tracking me down, but you can leave a message here. I do check or comment here, or you can find me on Instagram. I'm just at Jillian Bremer, my same handle. You can find me over there. And that's usually the best way to stay in touch with me. And I'll see you over there. Thanks for tuning in. I do these every week, so I will see you next time. Bye.